I woke up quite early this morning, so I enjoyed a little bit of watching Catchphrase with my sister while I was eating pastries. She just wanted everything to be right, because she'd been very much the organiser and she wanted it to be right for everybody else, almost to the point of overlooking that it needed to be right for her. Really relaxed in the room, getting ready, so the hair and makeup came to us, so it was really exciting getting ready with uh, my bridesmaids. A little bit nervous to start off with, waiting for my turn to get ready, but it's a really fun atmosphere and we had a, a really good soundtrack to our getting ready, which was great. Great to see Helen again getting ready. She was calm on the surface. I was just really excited to see Graham, finding out what he'd been doing in the last 24 hours to get ready and just really excited to get the day underway and see all of our guests. And Graham had arrived so all the key people were actually here. I woke up around 7.30 this morning. I stayed at the family home today which was really nice to do. Put me in a right frame of mind for today. And then started getting ready and I guess that's when it hits. Actually today's the day that your brother gets married. The more of our outfit we put on the more we realised we resembled hotel staff and that we might get asked for drinks or to prepare someone's room bill. Got here quite early. I just thought, wow, this is getting really real now. Starting to get energetic about everything and just so looking forward to the day. He seemed very calm. I wasn't worried at all. I was very relaxed. Couldn't stop smiling. Graham wasn't nervous and I, I think that's the thing if you know that you're marrying the person for you, there's not really the nerves. And then, of course, as you get closer to the one o'clock, two o'clock, then it becomes real. Dodging the rain on the way but it was really nice to get some fresh air just before we went into the ceremony just calming her down making sure that she was happy and relaxed my dad kept saying to me just relax you'll be fine you'll be fine but i think he was probably reassuring himself more than he was me and then you're part of it to be able to walk helena down the aisle was awesome he was just ready and waiting for helena when she turned up and walked in when i saw her come down the aisle beaming and i looked at graham and he was just so happy to see her. I was about halfway down the aisle that I could actually see him through all the faces and then it was just, that's where I'm heading and kind of felt really calm. Could not stop smiling because I saw Helena coming down towards me. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Helena, do take thee to be my lawful wedded wife. I promise to care for you. Remain true to you. And above all, to love and respect you always. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and as a symbol of our marriage. Love hard when there is love to be had, because perfect guys don't exist, but there's always one guy that is perfect for you. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree, not two. And it's my great pleasure to declare you as husband and wife, so congratulations. <laughs> Helena's attempt at journalism, <laughs> the Belly Express. There's lots and lots of stories in here that get off. <laughs> Me driving too fast, yeah. which was described as I shouldn't really say this, but my daddy drives really fast. And I like it because it pushes me into the seat. <laughs> I want to tell you why I love Helena so much. Aww. I'm going to talk about some of her qualities. She is incredibly observant. <laughs> I remember when we first met, we were in a club, and then she looked up into my eyes and she said, and I'll never forget this, you're old, aren't you? <laughs> She's beautiful. I mean, I don't have to say anything, do I? What do I have to say? They, they say seeing is believing. She's a stunner. She could have turned up in tracksuit bottoms today. I wouldn't have been too pleased. But I'd have still married her. It was also me that persuaded Graham, whilst he was working at the same company as me, that the coffee wasn't free. <laughs> and that he'd need some tokens. I took 50 pence off him <laughs> and gave him a handful of washers. <laughs> then spent the rest of the day chuckling as every time he bought a coffee, he passed the washer to the warehouse manager. <laughs> Graham, you and Helena make a fantastic couple and I'm so glad you found each other. <laughs> I hope they'll have a very happy life together. I'm sure they will. Keep doing what you're doing. 
and you'll be fine together. Graham and Helena, I just wish you all the best for the future. I know you're right for each other. Helena, I love you very much. I just know we're going to have a fantastic time together. Graham, I love you. I'm really happy to be your wife and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. (laughs) 